The good lady from the 41st, Representative Tai. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, when we speak the word, never again, not only do we need to understand why, but also asking how. It is a collective statement. We have the responsibility to uphold a stand against mass murder, genocide, and crimes against humanity. And the responsibility to ensure that our future generations understanding why and knowing how. Madam Speaker, the Holocaust experience did not begin with concentration camps. It began with bigotry, discrimination, and hate. It began with spreading fears. It began with propaganda filled with lies. Dehumanizing language being used to describe a group of people. And yes, dehumanizing language being used simply as jokes right here in the house of the people. And when we tolerate bigotry, discrimination, hate, lies, never again is empty. What happened when racial, religious, and political differences are more important than humanity? Where does that lead? That, Madam Speaker, why I support educating our students of this history. Educating our students why this history is relevant to their learning. Our education system should be equitable, relevant, age appropriate, and historically accurate. The standards and best practice need to be created and met. This bill provides a clear path for that. I urge our House member to vote yes so our future generations continue the path to preserve humanity and more importantly, reject hate. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, additional remarks.